an increasingly aging population, people lose their balance and they fall. And, and so we talked about that before, but the problem with balance right now is because we have all of these uh, senses and muscles and movement patterns that can come into play, it's um, to compensate, right? It's extremely difficult to predict who's gonna have that fall. And so right now with the current clinical methods, we're, we can only predict about six months out. Oh, wow. But in reality, that just means you've gotten to the end of all of your backup resources, right? right? So somebody may have been compensating in different ways for years, and we're not able to tell people that until right before the crash, literally, right? So the idea is that if we are taking measurements from the brain, that we could kind of predict or, or tell people in advance when they still have a chance to do something about it, that, um, that they may be compensating in ways they don't realize. And some of the best sort of interventions for balance are, are simply exercise and doing movements that um, have you thinking at the same time. Mm 